Hey friends, Dory here for Game Reactor at Gamescom 2016 and we're going to be talking about well, one of my favorite games of the show and of E3 because I'm a huge Trekkie. Uh, we're talking Star Trek Bridge Crew and I'm here with Justin and he's going to tell us all about it. Now, of course, it is VR, it's hitting Correct. several platforms, but it's, it's, of course, it's not local. Basically, define what this game is for everybody out there that's hasn't quite gotten a handle of what it is. Okay, so Star Trek Bridge Crew is a game in which, uh, in virtual reality, you and several of your friends, wherever they are, across the internet or world, uh, get together and you populate the bridge of a ship like the USS Enterprise, the USS Aegis. Uh, the Aegis is a unique vessel, it's the first of its kind. Um, it's uh, especially suited to exploration and scouting, uh, so the gameplay is going to revolve around finding new places, discovering lost things, and uh, dealing with the crises that emerge, Star Trek style, uh, among the captain, the helmsman, the tactical officer, and the engineer. Yes. Now, speaking of those four roles, of course, you need four people to be talking and interacting together. Can you touch a little bit upon what each role needs to be doing at, at any given time? Right, right. Uh, very simply, the engineer is the role that provides energy uh, to the various stations on the ship. So if you're the engineer and I'm the helmsman, I depend on you to give me energy so I can fly the ship. Uh, but the tactical officer also needs energy so they can fire the phasers and power the shields. And the captain then has to make the decisions which is more important, power for energy shields or energy for shields and phasers or to get us out of here, helmsman. So we, the decisions basically are made by uh, what emerges over the course of the mission. Sometimes you'll face combat, sometimes you'll face strange anomalies, sometimes you'll face the unknown, and therefore uh, all of the roles that are uh, dependent upon one another also rely on the captain for uh, the information and the decision making uh, so that they can solve the mission successfully. And it's all about communication. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I need to tell you to give me my energy. Uh, you need to say that you don't have enough for me. The tactical officer needs to tell me that I've got to get out of here. The captain then, knowing everything that all of these different stations have to offer, needs to make the executive decision. So everybody depends on everybody else. Now, speaking of, you know, emerging missions and stuff like that, uh, as, as I understand it, you have a story mission and then you also have randomly or procedurally generated missions as well. Uh, do they exist outside of each other or can you kind of dip in between both? Uh, there is a campaign. The campaign has a number of missions. Uh, we're not disclosing how big it is yet. Um, the missions that uh, you can do with the feature that we're calling um, the ongoing voyages, uh, if you don't want to play the campaign mission, if you just want to do a pickup mission, the game will create one for you based on a variety of different parameters. Uh, you don't have to play just the campaign. You can intersperse it with some of the ongoing voyages. You can do all ongoing voyages. Uh, you can do the game um, if uh, you and I are playing together and I need to drop off. You can go do one solo and uh, give AIs commands. So there's a lot of a lot of different ways to play the game, both in campaign mode and in kind of infinity mode. Now here in the campaign, of course, we are taking on the role of a brand new uh, ship. But uh, can, is, it, is the campaign fully voice acted from other characters? Can we uh, expect cameos from well-known uh, characters within the Star Trek universe? Uh, we are intending to place most of the focus on the players themselves. So you won't see Kirk, you won't see Picard, uh, you're unlikely to hear voice talent there. Uh, these are the missions of the Aegis, and your crew is way over here in the galaxy pushing back the frontier. Uh, so this is really the story of you and your friends. Uh, it's not one in which you're going to play or see a lot of uh, existing story characters. Now, as the uh, the campaign was explained to me inside, it's uh, several missions with uh, interlying story uh, lines, just like on a season of a TV series. And that got me thinking, is this the first season? Are you going to be uh, continuing onwards after this? That is a great way to think of it, and I can't say any more than you're doing a great job thinking of it that way. Wink. Yes. Uh, now, tell, uh, talk to me about platforms and release dates. Uh, so the release date we just announced this morning that's going to be released on November 29th of this year and it'll be available on PlayStation VR, on Oculus Rift, and on HTC Vive. You can play with the uh, hand trackers once they come out um, or you can uh, use a game gamepad controller. Okay. And then of course with the Vive you use the, the Vive controllers and on a PlayStation, uh, do you use the Move controllers there? Uh, yes, you would use the Move controllers for hand tracking there. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much for your time. Indeed, my pleasure.